guys, it's Waverly. So today I decided I'm going to be doing a Christmas makeup tutorial and yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Um, first, I'm going to be taking my CoverGirl Naturelux um, foundation. I really like this for the winter. It's really moisturizing. So yeah, it's number, or yeah, number 305. So I'm just going to go ahead and dab that on. I'm going to take off my glasses, actually. So then you're just going to rub that. Sorry. Um... There's a mirror, like, right next to the camera, so that's what I'm looking in if I look away. So, you're just going to blend that in pretty much all over your face. Don't forget your neck. And when you're happy with how much it's blended, then you can move on to the next step. Okay, so I'm not going to set that yet because I'm going to add on a second coat later. Um, yeah. So just put the lid back on your foundation. Then what I'm going to do is I got this new palette. It's actually from my friend Sarah. So shout out to Sarah. I haven't even opened it yet actually. So I'm just going to go ahead and open the palette. Oh, it's um Love and Be Oh, it's by Forever 21 Love and Beauty. Um yeah. It doesn't say the colors. I think it's off. Sorry guys, I probably should have done this before I started recording, but I didn't. I really like this palette. It's like just full of neutrals. Not really sure if you guys can see that though. I don't, oh god. I just hit myself. I don't need this. So this is what it looks like. Really, really cute. So you can just go ahead and open the palette. It comes with this thing, but I'm not going to be using that because I have my own brushes. And for this look, you can use your fingers or a brush. doesn't really matter. I'm going to be using a brush for this specific tutorial, though. So I'm going to start out with this color. It's like a really pretty golden color right there. And none of them have names, which kind of sucks, but whatever. So you're just going to put that all over the lid. This has a lot of fallout, so definitely blow on it before you put it on. And then you can go ahead to the other eye. Um, this might look uneven in the camera because I only have one bathroom light and it's on that side. So, if anything looks uneven, that's why. So, just go ahead and put that all over your eyes. And that's it. Okay, so then wipe off. The excess amount, I'm wiping it off just on my wrist, but you could use like, I don't know, something else. And then I'm going to go ahead to this color. It's too over from it. Sorry. It's too over from it, and it's that right there. It's like a really pretty beige. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that right, like, three quarters of the way in, and then this cover everything up again okay so now that that is done I'm going to be taking this dark brown color 
it's not all the way the darkest, but it's still pretty dark. It's the second one over right there. And I'm just going to cut my crease with this. Just like that. And don't worry guys, I will be blending this in. Actually, you want to go a little bit above your crease. And it just accentuates everything. And then bring that in right here where like your eyelids meet. So that's what that looks like. Oh wait, let me just add more on the side. Okay. So now that that is done, you're going to go ahead and just rub that in with your finger to make it a little bit less harsh. And once you put on your mascara, it won't look like this. Okay, so now that that's all blended, you're going to take this red color. It's the deepest shade of red. Oh, and don't forget to wipe that excess off or else this look will become completely different. And you're just going to do your lash, your upper lash line in it just to add more of a Christmassy feel. And just go ahead and connect that over here. Um, when I'm done, I'm going to show it to you guys in better lighting, just that way you can really get the feel of this look. So, that's all you're going to need for now for the makeup palette. So, then, you're going to go ahead with your eyeliner. This is, I'm, I think, from Maybelline, but it wore off. So I'm not sure. And it's just an eyeliner crayon in black. You can use brown if you want this look to be softer and more natural. But I don't. So I'm just going to go ahead and line and, yeah, color in my waterline. Okay, and then I'm going to do my tight line. Okay, so now that that's done, you can move on to the mascara. This is just a mini mascara from Victoria's Secret. And it's really, really good for your lower lashes because of the little wand. So I do my lower lashes first because if I do my upper first, then I have more of a chance of getting it onto my eyelid and messing everything up. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do my bottom lashes first. Um, before the video started, I was already wearing mascara, so that's why it doesn't really look like it's doing anything because it's like my 20th coat. So, that's why. Okay, so now you're going to go back to your palette and you're going to find a color that matches your eyebrows. Oh, and get that excess red off or else you'll end up with red eyebrows. I mean, if that's close to your hair color, eye color, whatever, but it's not. So my eyebrows are like kind of light and kind of dark. So I'm going to be using this color. It was right next to the red. And 
actually I'm going to just swatch that because I haven't used this color before. So that looks about right. So I'm just going to go ahead and define my eyebrows. Adding a little bit of an arch, but not much. And you just want to fill them in. Oops. Okay. Well, oh, whatever. Um. Yeah. So that's pretty good. Oh, let me just even that up. Oops. Okay, so now that that's more even, you are done completely with your palette. So then I'm just going to go ahead and put on another coat of foundation just to cover up any fallout or anything like if the foundation were off, which it typically doesn't. Oh, and guys, before the video started, I forgot to say that I was already wearing face primer and eyeshadow primer. So... Yeah. I definitely suggest getting a uh, face primer with this foundation just because it's so oily. Like, not oily, moisturizing, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Um, careful not to, like, mess up your eyebrows when you do this. And actually, this is, like, I haven't showed you guys yet, but this look has, like, a really nice Christmassy twist to it. And right when I'm finished, just really blend this all in. Because you don't want to look, like, really pale or really tan or orange or whatever color. Or, like, have blushiness, even if it is your color. So, just really make sure that you blend this all in. And even if you want, you could, like, put a little on, like, blend it into your eyeshadow, too. Just that way it gets rid of the harshness. Okay. So, then you're just going to put the lid back on. And the Christmasy twist that I was talking about is if you don't have any, um powder foundation or you just like want to smell better or something then I like to use this sugar yeah this sugar and that's what it looks like um yeah so I'm going to be taking my blush brush sorry that's a tongue twister from Eco Tools it looks just like this it's been in like a ton of my other videos and I'm just going to put it in and shake it off a little bit and I'm just going to lightly dab it on because if you don't do it lightly then all of it will come off and you don't want that and like sometimes you know like when your um, powder foundation gets into your mouth well that's okay with this because it won't taste bad I promise you I've done this like a thousand times And this is like a translucent, translucent. So that's really good because you don't have to worry about finding the right color or anything. And I do this only for special occasions or if I ran out of like setting powder. So yeah. Okay. So then when you're done with the sugar or setting power, whatever you want, whatever you use, then that's basically the look. So I'm just going to go ahead and show this to you guys in the light. Let me just... So that's what it looks like. 
really cute. Um, I really like this look. I wear a lot in December. Um, yeah. So that's just what it looks like. I really like it. And I'm going to wear this for Christmas and my Christmas Eve party and all that fun stuff. So yeah. So um, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.